That was Chris trying to come up with the darkest, scariest thing that he's really afraid of in real life. And I think we all are. I just like the mythology around it. I like uh, the idea of a communal feeling of end times. Like, let's examine that. What is that? What is the human race at the end of its time? Who are we? I think Chris has the ability, like Rod Serling, to tap into these deep questions that we all have, like, why am I here? What's out there? It's not just some sci-fi fantasy. And there's, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with sci-fi fantasy, but it, there's a lot of truth and a lot of fascination with what, what the show represented and, and the metaphors and the battles between good versus evil um, within ourselves and the world. It was dark. Talk about a dark show. And uh, I couldn't believe that that show would make it onto television. My mini theory on television getting darker was, I think it kind of started with Seinfeld, where Larry David and Jerry Seinfeld said, no hugs, no lesson. And then after that, The Sopranos. Like, what is it, the fourth episode? He strangles a guy with his bare hands on a college trip with his daughter. You took an oath and you broke it. And then we get Dexter. And then we get Walter White. Millennium was kind of way before all of them. If something is driven by character, if you're interested in those people, the rest of it becomes sort of context. Frank is a real hero, and he's trying to protect all of us from the darkness that he sees inside of himself. You know, I say about The X-Files, the reason for the success of the show is ultimately Mulder and Scully. Uh, it's that relationship. And I believe that uh, Millennium is the same way. I believe it's the power of uh, Frank Black as played by Lance Henriksen. Chris once said something to me. He said you, that I had to really dig deep to do that character. And he's right. He was right. He saw it. It was bizarre that it didn't get to the actual Millennium, but we felt we had to deliver some kind of thing which was going to be about order, at least avoiding breakdown and chaos. I want to see Frank in our in our political landscape and now he would be dealing with all the crazy right now. Yeah. This is, I think it's crazier now than it was. Oh, it's totally crazier now. We are anonymous. They're bringing drugs. There is no evidence that any classified information ended up in the wrong hands. There was an integrity in Millennium. And now, 20 years later, we're seeing all the more reason to have integrity.